IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3 comes with lots of new and updated features to help Java developers. The data flow analysis in IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3 can detect conditions that are not required as they are covered by later cases. Even in cases like this one, where the condition is covered by the relationship between three different variables. Under these circumstances, the first check can simply be removed. IntelliJ IDEA can also detect cases where we've passed the same argument value in twice to a method where it might not make sense. For example, math.min, math.max, and string.replace. This includes where it's not immediately obvious that the values are the same. Like the example here, where a is actually 100, and therefore the same as the second method argument. Under these circumstances, we can use the feature from 2018.2 that lets us see the known value of the variable. Data flow analysis can also detect branches and switch statements which are never going to be reached. For example here, the day value is always smaller than 5. We can either remove each statement individually, or use fixall to remove all of them. Of course, this may also be pointing out an error in our logic, so we may instead choose to fix the problem elsewhere. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3 comes with even more suggestions to help us to use the Streams API. The IDE can detect places where a sorted call is made but is not required, for example, when using a max or min operation. IntelliJ IDEA can also locate places where a reversed comparator is used within a min or max operation, and suggests simplifying the operation by using the opposite operation and removing the reversed call. The IDE can also locate places where null values are used but may not be permitted. In this example, one of the stream operations can return a null value, but the method should not return null. When we see this warning, we know we need to make a change to resolve the problem, either by permitting nulls, or by not producing the null value at all. More stream operations can be simplified. For example, a call to string.join that takes a stream may be better represented as a simple stream operation that uses the joining collector. Finally for streams, IntelliJ IDEA can locate places where, instead of using an entry set stream and mapping, we can simply use a key set instead. IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3 comes with more useful features. For example, parameter name hints are now available on enums. Remember we can turn on parameter hints in the settings under General Appearance. IntelliJ IDEA can now show you places where warnings are suppressed and don't need to be. Here, for example, we don't need to suppress unchecked warnings since there aren't any in this method. We can remove the suppression. We can also replace static star imports with qualified access to the static field. And finally, IntelliJ IDEA supports multi-line to-do strings. The following lines need to be indented by at least one space under the to-do to highlight the whole message in blue. The full multi-line comment is then also available in the list of to-do items. That's a summary of improvements for Java developers in IntelliJ IDEA 2018.3. Thanks for watching.